Well, welcome back, watch people. Now, during a time when we've all got time on our hands, I thought I'd give you a little review on my Harley Davidson breakout. And if it's your first time to this channel, uh, basically, I'm a former watch dealer that talks about watches. Um, but this week in particular, I've promised my viewers that I'm going to try and um, get in as much content as I possibly can, a time when we're all sitting at home, perhaps not much to do other than watch YouTube. So hopefully, uh, you guys are going to enjoy this one. So this is a 2019 Harley Davidson breakout. Um, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to tell you what it's like to own, what it's like to ride, the changes that I've made to it, the changes that I'm going to make to it, and I'm going to tell you what it's like to own this particular bike. Now, I've had numerous Harley Davidsons before. Um, I have to say that this one has probably taken more getting used to than any other that I've owned. Um, and I'll go through the reasons why in a minute. Let me just give you a little bit of spec on the bike. Um, not going to go into this too much because there's loads of this sort of stuff out there, but it's a Harley Davidson Softail Breakout 114. Um, that's the model. It's a 2019 model year. Um, it's, the, um, it's classed as a custom cruiser. Um, it's 1868cc V2 four stroke Milwaukee 8 114 big twin 94 horsepower 155 newton meters of torque or 114.3 foot pounds at 3000 revs per minute. The uh, fuel is double overhead cam twin cam DOHC cooling is air gearbox six speed transmission type is belt and the fuel consumption is approximately 42 miles per gallon with two exhaust staggered into two um, with a catalyst converter um, or a muffler um, on the stock pipes of course I've changed those pipes so what I'll do is um, I'll change the camera angle now so that you can see a little bit more of the bike a little bit up closer and go through some of the finer details with you okay so let's start at the front uh, from stock what did I change I put the cowling on the front cowling and um, that's really nice you've got the uh, handlebar risers there lovely shape and um, the bars on this bike um, they're like drag bars and I've got to be honest I'm finding them a little bit wide and a little bit low I'm actually going to swap those out to 14 inch apes I think that's going to suit my style of riding a lot better if I'm honest um, I changed the pipes from the stock pipes to the uh, Vance and Hines grenades they sound absolutely wonderful I'll give you a example of what they sound like in a moment um, the foot pegs and the brake pedal they were changed um, i've got a brake res cover coming soon both for the front and the back uh, change the mirrors i also change the handle grips as i say this is gonna end up um, with the 14 inch apes i changed the stock seat which was okay but i've put uh, a nice saddleman seat on there and that is really really comfortable um was a bit of a nightmare to fit but uh it did fit okay ultimately um had the rear end lowered by a couple of inches um just look at the size of that big fat back tire that is absolutely awesome that is one back tire um front and rear indicators were also changed as well and they double up as your, your brake lights, your indicators, as well as your lights. Let's have a look down this side. What have I got? Uh, what have I done? Well, not a lot this side. This is going to be changed to chrome. I'm going to change these to gold braided um, HT leads. Again, the foot pegs and the gear shifter was changed. Standard tank decals. This is like a white metallic paint. I'm um, not a great lover of the pinstripes, but they're okay. Um, different uh, petrol tank cover. So what's it like to ride? Um, well, I have to say that it's taken me a while to get used to this bike coming off the soft tail deluxe. Um, I've had a sports star, I've had a Dyna wide glide. I've ridden just about every Harley that you could possibly want to ride one way or another um, and I would say this bike took a bit of getting used to simply because of that big fat back tyre it's quite a difficult bike to uh, to get used to I wouldn't say it's a beginner's bike to be honest with you um, no I wouldn't say it's a beginner's bike if, but once you do get used to it 
um, that foot forward position so when you sit on the bike your feet firmly forward um, and it's a very comfortable laid back cruising type of uh, riding position that I think most people would enjoy um, as I say the drag bars are a little bit wide for me and a little bit low so when you sit on the bike you're kind of sitting forward on it a little bit or you're leaning forward which is a can be a little bit off-putting especially with that big pack tire um, but for me um, to get the optimal uh, riding position on this particular bike I wanted to change that stock saddle out that was the main thing um, and get one with a little bit of a more of a um, lumbar support which the saddleman stock has given me and then get them 14 inch apes on the bike and I will be in a very very comfortable position the engine on this is absolutely superb so much low in grunt loads and loads of torque you feel like this thing could pull a bus um, and it's really between 0 and probably 50 mile an hour at this bike is its most fun just because you have so much grunt so much power so much torque I mean yeah of course it will do a, it will go a lot faster than that but uh, it's a proper naked bike and you really don't want to be doing 80 90 mile an hour on a bike like this it's too big and um, just you got, you, you got the wind blast against your chest it's a boulevard cruiser that's our Harley market it and that's a you know that's exactly what it is it's a a bike that uh, is for nice summer sunny days when uh, you know you want to look good the bike wants to look good sounds even better um, and it's the perfect bike for what Harley described as boulevard cruising I think those uh, apes are gonna make a big difference on this bike um, this new 114 Milwaukee 8 engine um, is very very powerful um, and as I say, it sounds absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to give you a, an example of what uh, the sort of symphony orchestra that I've got playing in my ear when I'm riding this bike. <laughs> So of course when you're riding and changing gears you're getting lots of lovely snap crackles and pops from that uh, that Milwaukee 8 engine. Overall lovely lovely bike. Um, I wouldn't say it's the ideal bike or the ideal first Harley um, in all honesty. Probably you know something more like um, oh, I don't know maybe a fat bob. Uh, Tess rode one of those the other day. Great bike that is especially if you're coming from a sports bike but uh, most of the soft towels really would be suitable for a first time Harley owner um, it's just the position on this one that uh, I think requires a little bit more um, a little bit more now around the Harley Davidson brand if you like the design of those wheels makes them really easy to keep clean the brakes on this bike are really really good actually no problems no gripes about the brakes whatsoever i know some people in the past have uh, complained about harley davidson brakes but i think that's a problem that was sorted out years and years ago um, and these brakes are as sharp as a pin particularly the front one is absolutely excellent all right so i hope you enjoyed that any questions any comments uh, be glad to see them in the comments section below when i have finished with this bike and it is uh finished in its entirety i'll give you another look but that's uh, the bike that uh, all being well i'll be riding this uh, summer that's if we're allowed to get out thanks for watching and we'll speak again soon mm -hmm.